What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in for the 2024 Legends of the Lake. We're bringing you the back nine coverage for round three over at Sierra College uh, Disc Golf Course up in Truckee, California. Um, we had a really, really fun front nine. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're here in the premium booth. You got myself, Spanky Edwards, my man, Dave Salazar. Howdy. Coming at you, safety cam, Ridge Merkley. Thanks for joining <laughs> us, bud. <laughs> This is presented by Innova Disc Golf, you guys. A beautiful day in Truckee, California. Tristan Cook kind of went off on round one. Six under through nine. It's the way to do it. Um, everybody else playing just fine. But yeah, Tristan mm -hmm. showing you how to win a tournament right there. Yeah, I want to be Tristan when I grow up. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say about the back nine. I feel like it gets... A little bit more heavily, like tightly wooded, but the whole course is so tight, it doesn't really change that much, actually. Yeah, just tends to be, uh, gets a little dustier, mm -hmm. you know, in my recollection of this course, it gets a little dirtier, but it's, yeah, and I think, yeah, it doesn't change much. <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna see a lot of uphills and downhills, you know, the elevation is constantly changing at this course. Um, but let's get into it. Hole 10, par 3, 300. Uh, you can see the gap they're trying to hit. They're trying to stay in that. Uh, I don't think they're trying to, you know, if you get left, oh, what a kick. <laughs> left or right's no good. You just want to throw a perfectly straight 300 foot shot. Easier said than done. Oh, we're getting some, some kicks. But you just want, you really want to be up there. I mean, I guess maybe it's a slight turnover, but it's kind of just like that. Oh, he's not liking the ties right out. Still gonna have a putt. We're gonna see the forehand from Tristan. Kind of no surprise. He gets around that tree. Oh, he's gonna get caught up a little short. Mm -hmm. Probably a 50 footer, I think. Will's looking like he's got this dialed. Yeah, that looked like the shot shape you're looking for. Oh, you like that. Well, last hole was a downhill. This is about, you know, pretty level. It's one of and, the most level holes on the course. And then, uh, yeah, after this, they'll start going uphill again. Oh, a little chink in the Tristan Cook armor there. I think he'll survive. <clears throat> nice, birdie. Smooth putt. Ryan Bain. He's going to move. Uh, yeah, look at that. He's going to move within one of his card mate. Yeah, keeping it tight at the top there. That's what we like to see, you know. A lot of birdies, tight races. Yeah. Just good sports. Hooray sports ball. Hooray sports ball. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him. One, two, three, football. Frisbee. All right. <laughs> Looks like Ryan Jewell's going to tap in his bar. Um, Andrew McGill checking his Facebook status, I think. <laughs> He walks up the hill. <laughs> Just kidding, Andrew. Yeah, this whole 11, this is what we were talking about uphill. This one is pretty significantly uphill. It's only 240 feet, so they'll be able to see the basket. Um, but it's, yeah, it's a tight, straight line all the way up. And that's a beautiful shot. There is a longer position on this hole, right? Yeah. Uh, it's much more difficult. Oh, you can't even see it. Nope. Yeah. It goes up and over the hill and then to the Why right. is it never... In this position, when I play this course, <laughs> <laughs> for real though, there's some kind of conspiracy going on here. <clears throat> Will, oh, okay, good stop. Yeah, he'll be all right there. Heavy on the turn. It's gonna get all the way up there though. Oh, well, maybe even a little bit past. Not sure if that's a line or if that got lucky, but. Good to be there. I'm liking Tristan's forehand. It's it's so powerful. Especially when you get kicks like that at the end. <laughs> How do you do that? Well, as soon as you let it go, you grab the remote control and start <laughs> steering. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, what a butt. <laughs> Ryan Bain wow. will not give up. Kind of on a heater, huh? Yeah. All of a sudden, he's six down through 11. There he is. Couldn't tell who it was because he was in the, sh in the shade and the shadows there. Yeah. I'm like, I think that's Ryan Jewell. Somebody's moving around over there. 
No mistake in Will Ling. Come on, buddy. Nice There putt. it is. Another right-handed putt. Show us a lefty putt, Will. Come on. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, he just might have do done it. it. I just didn't notice. <laughs> Ooh, a little high, but in nonetheless, no pictures. Is that his third or fourth in a row? For McGill? For McGill, yeah, yeah. Oh, my. Uh, he got nine, 10, and 11. Third in a row, yeah. All right. Turkey. All right, hole 12, guys. Par three, 306 feet. It's out there uh, somewhere. This is a downhill blind shot. Hopefully, you can find your disc. I think they have spotters here. They should. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you should on this hole. It's so easy to just hit and roll forever down that hill. Or... Yeah. Again, been there, done that. There you go to the lefty backhand. Well, it seems a little early. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. early. It's going to make the approach <clears throat> shot very difficult. It's it's incredibly downhill, so it's hard to put the brakes on. If it gets a little air under it, it's just going to keep going. Yeah, an incredibly boot. Wow, what? Nice filter. Such a unique like shape of hole because it's so downhill, but it's also like side hill. Mm -hmm. So I definitely think the forehand off the tee is the way to go because you're crashing into the hillside, whereas the backhand can just go forever. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've been 100 long on this before. I mean, you can see the plateau that the basket's on and then how steep it... Oh, my gosh, oh. look at that roll. Oh, he's all the way down to the bottom. I was about to say I've been down there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, he's down look by the, much... ser the service road down there. He had to, like, throw that. Wow. Uh, look at it. Oh, good Stay. run. Really uh, ambitious. Any any air balls on this basket are going back down to where we just saw Will. Oh, that was beautiful. Way to just tap dance it in there. That was a good looking shot between the two, the trees. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Very cool. Ryan Bain, four? I, uh, Stop it. Oh, no, sorry, not Bain. McGill for four in a row. Yeah. Definitely a heater. So Ryan's just going to put out for his par. And Will's unfortunately going to take a double on that one. Um, that roll was pretty wicked. And it was brutal. Not cool. Not cool Sierra College. I mean... Dude, I swear that's how Sierra College goes. <clears throat> anyway, guys, hole 13, 276. Ooh. Fun downhill shot. Uh, yeah, this hole's pretty neato. I'm a big fan. One of my favorites. Yeah. Another one where you can go left. <clears throat> Forehand, backhand. I mean, there's tons of options on this. Yeah, I think you can even, like, shoot a thumber down that gap. Uh, what? A thumber? Yeah. You're crazy, man. I did it in a dream one time. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Will's looking to get himself a nice up here. Uh, that is early. He needs to hit something. Oh, <clears throat> that's going to be rough from over there. Ooh. He went pretty deep, yeah? Yeah, I think he went long in the basket and looked about 60 <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Yeah, that was a tough spot where Tristan was. It's definitely hard to get the angle right. This is one of those holes where, from the tee, the mo it's the clearest line. And then as soon as you don't get it all the way down the fairway, then you're like, oh my gosh, scrambling is yeah, so what, difficult. Yeah, what is happening? Even yeah. though it's only 270 feet. <laughs> Great putt. Well, Save the tap par. that in. Tristan's probably going to get his par as well. I don't know who's shooting here. Oh, there he is. Ryan Jewell. <laughs> I think it's Jewel every time. He yeah. <laughs> he's just always in the shadow. He's like Bigfoot. He's always blurry. Yeah. <laughs> never really. He's never standing still. <clears throat> oh, what a birdie. Five. Five in a row. That is on fire. Five, five, five. Oh, just with the bogey, actually. Oh, what? Oh, I must have missed one there. All right, Bigfoot's going to take a par as well. 
Blurry Bigfoot, a.k.a. Ryan Jewell. Uh, hole 14, 318. This one must be playing to the left side. There's a couple different pin positions on this one, but this one's going to be down the road and then hugging way left up into the trees. Oh, just missing that tree is a good line. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so far, two for two, perfect drives. This one's usually down the middle, right? Mm -hmm. Middle, longer. It's usually like a straight shot down the road. Yeah. Which I actually prefer that line, but I, I like the hole as, you know, as yeah. a whole, so no, no real bad pin position, if you ask me. He's going high, low 318, hits a little bit of something and comes down early. He's having a little rough stretch of holes here. He's going to be all right, though. Willow's bounces back. Yeah, Tristan wanted that a little higher so it could flex all the way over the basket. Lefty forehand that from looks, Will. That looked pretty good. Yeah. I couldn't tell. I saw the flag. It looked like he was right up there. I'm short. I couldn't see. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sitting on the ground? Huh? <laughs> All right, a couple of decent approaches from these guys. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Is this Ryan's drive? Yes. Booyah. Yeah, Ryan and Andrew parked it. They're loving these magical Mach 3s. <laughs> Good par. From Tristan, yep. Yep. Still putting together a fire round, but you know, for his standards, he's slowing down quite a bit with a bogey and a par. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, another great birdie. Six pack for this guy. Okay, he made it. <laughs> <laughs> What's it doing on the ground? Looks like you guys saw that, right? <laughs> You guys, hole 15 is a par 4, 468. You can see how the fairway is like flat, and then it's going to curl up the hill. Um, that looks phenomenal because oh. it is. He just turned Ridge around. That's a really, really far drive. I just don't think he can see Ridge without his safety, safety color. I mean, yeah. come on, Ridge. Uh, Ryan's uh, poking one out there. Ooh, that, if that gets around. Smash. Ugh. It's so easy to get late kicks. That that gap at the end of the fairway is like 20 feet wide, and it's 200 feet away. We're getting one to the right side. He's hoping for it to come back. He gets a little kick there. That, yeah, it's a little mm. tight inside of there, but there's, he'll be able to find something, I think. Right at it. Kind of kicked him right into the middle. So he should be able to see the basket. Oh. And settle down. So we'll probably hear like the f the highway sounds here pretty soon, right? It's pretty close to it. Whoa. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Gosh. Ridge. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I think you can already kind of hear the highway in the background. <laughs> you can see the cars for sure. A decent oh, approach yeah, there. <clears throat> this hole goes, it just goes like... It gets, keeps getting tighter and more uphill as it goes. It's <laughs> like, what's happening? <laughs> it's almost like you feel like you need to start running full speed to get the momentum to go up it. You know? It's almost like a bow constrictor. It just keeps getting tighter. <laughs> yeah. And tighter. yeah. Call it the bow constrictor hole. Yeah. You're losing air because you're just going uphill. Oh, right over the top. All right. Guess who's in the shadow? <laughs> Would you believe it? <laughs> Ryan Jewel for the birdie! <laughs> a Bigfoot bird! <laughs> That's a great birdie to get. Yeah. Especially to be long in two. Call him Birdie Foot. Oh, oh well. well. Come on. That's too bad. A little straddle putt downhill. Ryan's putting together a really nice score here. Yeah. All Good of a sudden, round. All of a sudden, the <clears throat> hot round. Mm-hmm. 
Someone's uh, chasing him. And that's McGill for seven in a row. What do you call that? Seven in a row? <laughs> call it seven in a row. The lucky seven? I'd, I'd say that, but it's not luck. <clears throat> I mean, this guy's it, shooting his heart out here. Absolutely. Seems laser focused. Yeah, it looks like he, you know, he's setting himself up. There's a few more rounds to go mm -hmm. for this whole tournament. So I think every stroke counts here. Let's get into the nitty gritty. Uh, hole 16 is 348. We'll kick there. It kind of bl it's pretty blind off the tee. Oh, another blind shot. Yeah, that looks like a little bit of a slip. But he's gonna get away with it. Yeah, if I'm remembering correctly, this is like down the fairway and then breaking right. Yeah, I think you're right. Unless it's in the left pin position. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can see the turn that Will's going for there. It's the right position. Yeah, and in this stretch of holes, everything's moving from left to right on the hillside. So yeah, you really want to place things and have something that lands hopefully soft, so it doesn't get the the kick and the unfortunate rolls. Speaking of rolling, yeah, that's nice. Yep, yeah. he's rolling his way to the basket. Man, I wonder. <clears throat> wow, okay. It's always nice to see the stats and make yourself feel a little bit better about your own play. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Display over par? Uh, right around even par. Actually, exa I played exactly par. All right. It's just a hard, it's a hard basket to reach. Even at 348, the shape of the hole makes it so difficult to get it all the way there. Yeah. You've got to throw the perfect turnover that's still going to finish and have all the speed to get there. Yeah, disc golf's not always a, <clears throat> you know, a straightforward type of a game, you know, like yeah. in, in woods courses especially, obviously. You've got to shape things. You've got to make things happen with discs that you're familiar with. You know, you know they're going to come out when they're supposed to, and you're hoping for that, uh, that outcome. Yeah, you and know? that's why I think this is such a great hole is that it's – the line is there. It's yeah. just a difficult line to hit. Yeah, sometimes you hit trees. And believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, they are not 90% air. <laughs> no, it's all tree. It's all tree. 100% tree, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It looks like uh, we're going to see all pars on this card. Is that right? Uh, I believe Will. Yeah, yeah, because this, this should be Will's third. There it yeah. is. So, yeah, two birdies, two bogeys on the day. Wow. Okay. Hmm. And that sounds about right. Yeah, the rest were par. So. Hole 17, guys, 327 feet. I believe it's up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. Yeah. And that looked like it kicked down the hill. Hopefully it didn't go too far. That looks like a really nice shape. Oh, he didn't like the kick. Mm -hmm. So 327. I remember just, I always try to go as straight as I can on this one. Yep. And just get some meat off the bone. Oh, what is this roll? Stopped. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, that looked nice. Yeah. Where's Ridge with that catch cam? All right. Yeah. We have an uphill putt. I think you can run it. Even at 327, this is a... The uphill is, again, it's, it's harder than it looks on camera, so it actually is quite a ways up there. Ryan's going to give it a little baby bid. And Don't he, roll! Trying to avoid the roll. Ooh, I think that went further than he really wanted it to, right? Yeah, I left him a little tester for sure. I'll just land flat. <clears throat> There's uh, out of the shadows, Ryan Jewell. All right. Tristan's going to go ahead and run this. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, he's Into loving that. Yeah. 
Great birdie. Oh. Oh. Brian Bain. Not the right time to go bogey when Tristan just cooked the birdie. Mm-hmm. Be a two-stroke swing going into the 18th hole here. Oh yeah, his went far, didn't it? His he had that long right. tester roll, yep. <clears throat> Unlucky. But we've been obviously his caliber of play. He's not out of it by any means. We've still got two more rounds and so yeah. completely different courses. Yeah. I believe uh what, Stampede and then Kingvale? Yep. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. These guys are legends. <laughs> These guys are legends. Of the lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as they walk over to Hole 18. Uh -huh. Hole 18, one of my favorites. But seriously, <laughs> though, this is a cool shot. 411 feet downhill, sloping right to left. Uh, it's totally reachable, but in whichever way you want, you're obviously going to see the forehand from Tristan. Uh, the backhand is totally viable as well. Oh. oh. Looks like there's a little... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, a little head, oh. headwind, huh? It looks like a tailwind to me. Am I blind? That's the shot I like. You just want to nestle up in there. Oh, that's really good. That's going to be fine, just fine, that's for sure. <clears throat> yeah, I like the little oh, right to left backhand turnover. Finishes left. Oh, there's the basket way down there yeah. in the trees. Ryan, grip that, grip lock that one just a little bit. Let's see well, little... that looks early. Early right. Oh, good see if Ryan, oh, Ryan got the little nose up. Not gonna get the turn he wanted. Oh, you know, for how high it was, I think that tree helped him out and filtered it down. I agree. <clears throat> Will kind of in the best in the best spot to be for an early tree hit. Left yeah. and right in the center of the fairway. So he had a pretty routine approach shot got a good look at it oh this stand's gonna have a long one and slightly obstructed i think too all right okay ryan jewel got giving himself a putt for par in the circle oh boy so much lumber out here <laughs> so much Gonna get knocked down just slightly. You see in the background, guys, that's the uh, the actual college. Oh, oh my what? goodness, nobody cares because Andrew McGill is oh, making birdies. My gosh, that's a huge putt. Wow. That's fantastic. And the only birdie on the card. Yeah, if you want an education, watch Andrew McGill <laughs> putt. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Looks like uh, Will's got a little bit of uh, wind that doesn't affect him at all. McGill was one of two birdies on the day. Huh, interesting. We saw one of them. Played, the whole played over par. It's a good, good par there for Ryan Jewell. And Ryan Bain's going to finish it out. Just one more throw. There it is with this bogey. Tristan. <clears throat> Unfortunately, finishing off a two for this round. And this is going to be a, sorry, a bogey for Tristan as well? Yeah, okay. He makes us wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andrew McGill coming in with the nine under. Yeah, yeah. It's the hot stuff there. You know, even with the couple of bogeys there, like I'm going to say it's an okay round for all these guys compared to what's going on here. So, I, you know, I think they actually ended up pretty all right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. looking like, you know, anything above above four or under was pretty fire, actually. So Yeah, look at uh, Juan Bernal, with the six under down uh, in 12th place. Yeah. Anyway, that was a kind of fire round. We still got a really good battle at the top. Still a bunch of guys in the mix, and then there's going to be the other handful of guys that are definitely just, you know, volume for second place at this point so. yeah i think i, I think we're going to enjoy the next uh, round over at stampede you guys uh please stay tuned for that yeah we'll be right back with it thank you